There are many practices in this world that people set out to achieve mastery in. Mastery of an instrument, a martial art, or perhaps business. But one of the least heard of yet most rewarding is self-mastery. Self-mastery means having supreme control over your thoughts, feelings, and actions. It is undoubtedly a lifelong practice that takes much time and continuous effort, but will inevitably grant you a life of ease, simplicity, and control. I'd like to elaborate on this by telling you the story of the two masters. Two masters, who lived in very different parts of town, shared a similar evening one night. They both left their apartment around 7 to meet a date they had arranged to meet previously with quite some enthusiasm. They successfully met their dates around an hour later, both young attractive girls with charm and class. The first master's date was disappointing to say the least. Him and his date had very little chemistry and ran out of things to talk about at an impressive rate. The two had virtually nothing in common and his date seemed surprisingly cold compared to when they first met. They shared drinks by the river for one hour and parted ways, with no hint of a second date. The second master took his date to a nearby rooftop bar where they shared a wonderful evening overlooking the city. They enjoyed fun conversation and plenty of common ground. The girl proved to be quite a match and uniquely beautiful too. After drinks they walked back to her plush and expensive apartment boasting a wonderful view of the city. They had passionate sex all night and shared intimate stories over pillow talk, caressing each other till they fell asleep in each other's arms. By 10am the next day, which of the two masters do you think felt happier and more content? The answer is neither, they both were equally as happy and at ease in the morning. This might sound strange to some, but mastery means being rooted in the present, no longer dependent on external achievements to find true peace and contentment. And before any of you say that sounds silly or unrealistic, the story of the two masters is actually based on two separate dates I myself experienced. Though I'm very reluctant to brand myself a master, as I still have much practicing to do, the story remains the same. By the next morning on both occasions, I was once again rooted in the present, and no longer thinking about the events that occurred during the previous night to find happiness. When you find true stillness and contentment within, you will still enjoy the pleasures and adventures of life, but once they are over, you are back to your natural state of bliss and presence, detached from your achievements or downfalls. To conquer yourself, you must conquer your perceptions and judgments. Perceptions are everything. Practice observing things without judgment, allowing their natural essence to shine through without coercion, remaining mindful and in control. If you find yourself indulging in toxic judgments that lower your mood, take a moment and simply say, it is what it is. Choose perceptions based on a higher truth that empower you and others, not based on what society or somebody of a negative nature might say. Eventually, your negative perceptions will start to fade away, being replaced by healthy positive ones, allowing you to be so much more at ease in life. Peace and ease are our natural state. Life is meant to be fun and easy. Of course, in the current world we live in today, this is incredibly challenging to achieve. But once we start letting go of our negative and fearful beliefs, placing them with empowering and truthful ideals, things will start to change for us very quickly. Societal beliefs have an enormous impact on us as individuals, including our genetics. But sadly, many of them are outdated and disempowering. For so long I've heard people say life is a struggle and money is the root of all evil. But these are ultimately nothing more than outdated paradigms based on false information gathered a long time ago. And because so many of us still believe them, that is often the case for us. Our perceptions and beliefs are very real and powerful. They contain unique vibrations and frequencies that affect our biology, genetics and surroundings. If every time someone said life is hard, they said life is a joyous and grand adventure, that is the life that most of us would be experiencing today. You can take back your power by no longer buying into lies that aren't serving you, questioning everything and actively choosing your own fate. Underneath everything, our natural state is heaven, and we are powerful creators with the ability to change the world. Practice mindfulness and meditation to master your thoughts, emotions and intentions. You will master your life in ways you never thought possible. Of course material success has its place in this world. There is nothing wrong with desiring money, success and possessions. It is not greedy or indulgent, but essential for a full life. But if you can enjoy these things in a state of detachment, not dependent on them for inner peace, you will enjoy both spiritual and material success, which is a very rare combination. Try this experiment. Spend one hour every day sitting in a comfortable position in total silence. No phone, internet or any other stimulation. Root yourself in the prison and enjoy beautiful simplicity. Meditate. The present moment holds all the glory you need. Over time, you'll see that true happiness and enlightenment has been under your nose the entire time. It is a discipline that takes much practice, but over time, you will start to obtain self-mastery for yourself.